Here we are. 35 minutes later. We still got here in the end though, didn't we? Didn't we, darling? Yeah, good. So what is very interesting to me uh, is the, if you like, the thought process of investing in yourself. Now, we're quite happy to invest in our thousand pound tellies and our nice cars and our takeaways and our drink and our luxuries and our holidays, but yet we never invest in the biggest asset that we own, which is ourselves. And unless we invest in ourselves, all of those other things that we purchase and buy will mean dick when we're dead. Surely you should be the priority when it comes to investment. For me, one of the biggest problems that men face is not knowing how to live their lives when they get to the late 30s, 40s, 50s. Now that might sound quite bizarre to you, but as you evolve, some people get left behind, some people don't evolve with time. Some people just stay in that same place. Some people achieve everything they want to achieve and then don't know what they want to do from there. I think he's trying to tell me something. I think he wants me to go down there. And one of the biggest things that people lack is structure, um, habits, well, uh, mental well-being, drive, fire, purpose, a reason to get up in the morning. Now the whole purpose of investing in yourself is so that you can find somebody that can help you do that again, re-educate you, get the fire burning again, get some focus again, have some accountability in your life. When your kids come home from school, and they come in and throw the uniform on the floor and they jump on their Xbox and start playing their Xbox. If you didn't hold them accountable, they'd just probably do that all night. But instead we go, hang your clothes up, you've got 30 minutes left on the PlayStation, then you're doing your homework, then you're doing the washing up, and you're making your packed lunch. Accountability. When it comes to investment, you're looking for people that have been there, that have done it, that have made the mistakes so that you are not gonna make those mistakes and you are not gonna waste that time trying to figure it out by yourself and go through a whole load of stress. In the meantime, it's about learning of other people, growing, developing, and seeing how far you can take this. Man, do you remember these things? I'm a bit nervous to open it. The old telephone boxes, I spent many a pound phoning the Jesus, that's got no springs on. The uh, girlfriends, I was 14, 15 and 16, spending hours in pound, pound, pound. Oh, I'll tell you what, our kids in our generation do not know how good they've got it with mobile phones. So let's look at this a different way. If your car broke down, you would have to invest in somebody to help you get that car sorted. If you had a leak in a house, you'd have to invest in a plumber to come along and sort that out. When you break down, who do you invest in to get yourself squared away and move you forwards before you break down and can't enjoy the holidays and become too unhappy and become unstable or face chronic burnout or put on too much weight? Who are you gonna call? You have. It's workout time. Lean your back. Good girl. Nice. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm watching out. Thank you. 
Oh, lovely. Perfect. Just what I need. Could have stated that thing that she's got. That kept us awake all night. We're going scooting. I'm dreading it. I'm already having one of those dad mornings. That's the third dress this morning. How many tantrums have we had? But I wouldn't melt. She's still going. Let's go. In. In. Leave. As a dad, I would say Sundays I feel like I'm being fucking tested. <laughs> Don't worry, she can't hear me swearing. She's all the way upstairs crying because we can't find Cherry. overwhelming day bit of a clusterfuck problems occurring and me needing to deal with them but the confliction with trying to be a dad and wanting to be a dad and dealing with a very emotional toddler toddler junior infant whatever she is devil child um <laughs> trying to deal with the stuff it just becomes overwhelming um so i don't really want to go to office coming up here nice environment to be able to work just get some clarity, brainstorming, planning next week, planning even better. I need to plan better and feel like I'm leaving things to the last minute on Friday. But, you know, it's the weekend. I'm going to have a beer. Hope you have a great weekend. That's me done for this week. JB out.